So welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you guys are new. Today is Tuesday, November 28th, 10 in the morning. Now, I woke up this morning and I thought today would be a great opportunity to show you guys what a typical day in my life looks like right now. I actually just got my master's degree in digital marketing two months ago. I'm graduating in a couple of weeks, but post-grad life, I wanna show you guys what a day-to-day -day would look like for me. I'm on a bulk right now in the gym. I'm gonna take you guys through some of the foods I eat to stay productive, how I eat to keep my mind fueled and my body feeling good and energetic. I've got some work on the side that I'm recently getting into as well as some other stuff and I've just got an interesting day today and I thought I want to take you guys along with me. So cheers to that. I'm going to drink my magnesium and then we're going to get started with breakfast. So having my breakfast outside this morning. It's kind of a nice day and in winter, I feel like you don't always get a guarantee on whether or not it's gonna be good weather. So I like to take advantage of that, soak up some of the little daylight that there is, enjoy my breakfast outside. So for breakfast, I always like to have some protein after I wake up just to make sure that my body isn't fasting from protein for too long. It's really important for building muscle. And then of course, for energy, we always need to have some carbs, but I don't like to go too heavy on the carbs early on just to prioritize my energy levels. If I have a ton of carbs right when I wake up, it makes me kind of sluggish. So a little bit of fruit, orange juice, that'll get the job done. caffeine here. So on the agenda today, I have a little bit of work to do. I have to hit a workout. Then I have a little bit more different work to do later on. But in my opinion, I think doing your work that's the hardest first in the day is the best way to approach it. For me personally, it's always just so much more relaxing to know that I have the hardest thing of my day out of the way. If I like procrastinate and I leave a really hard task to the very end of the day, I find myself being in a much more anxious and just stressed out state and that messes with my sleep, recovery from the gym, everything. So right now I'm gonna knock out a little bit of work. Just as soon as I finish the uh, caffeine that I'm craving here. So something I've recently been getting into is online fitness coaching. Now I'm doing this at a relatively small level. I just kind of wanted to dip my feet in the water and see how it was. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Right now, I'm actually working with a client in which I have to write them a personalized program tailored to their goals. So I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes to an hour basically writing out a full workout program. A little bit tedious, but it's definitely something I enjoy because for me, fitness is a super fun thing and catering a workout plan to someone to help them make like their dream gains, body, whatever, make that come true is something that's very fulfilling. Like once this is done, I'll be happy. So computer work is completed. I haven't gotten any type of physical exercise yet today. And even if I'm working out, I always like to get at least 7,000, if not 10,000 steps a day. It just keeps my mind super fresh, clear, and I get better sleep at night when I make sure to get my steps in. So yeah, let's go for a little walk, get some fresh air. It's 
cold out here. So even though the walks are good for your health, another big reason I do these kind of short little walks outside is for my mental health. I think it's really important to just sometimes get away from things that you're doing on a day to day, like working, anything that you might find to be stressful if you do it for a long period of time. Just stepping out for even 15 minutes can be really beneficial. I live in Dublin, Ireland, and for those of you who don't know, Dublin is a very mountainous country, so walking around here is nice. Back from the walk. I know I said in the beginning of the video, and a lot of you guys will already know this, that I'm on a bulk right now. So I'm trying to gain weight in the gym. That means I need to go eat again. Even if I'm not that hungry, I try to eat every two to three hours just to keep my appetite churning over. Let's go make some lunch. So I've got my lunch here. This is basically just beef and rice. I throw in some hot sauce and honey to make it taste a little bit better. Especially when I'm on a bulk, I find that time is extremely important. A lot of you who have done a bulk yourselves will know that eating a lot of food takes up a huge portion of your day. And when I have a lot of productive work to get done, I can't just spend two, three hours cooking, eating, washing dishes. So I, I need to get a meal in fast and this meal does it for me, beef and rice. So yeah, guys, I'm going to pound this down right now, and this is probably going to be my pre-training meal, meaning this is the last thing I'll eat before I go to the gym. Never go to the gym hungry. That's my motto, because you're going to be at that gym for an hour, an hour and a half, and that's time you could be eating when you're on that bulk. So got to go get your meals in first. pre-workout in the shaker. So pre-gym ritual for me always involves some sort of pre-workout. Helps me get kind of excited, a little bit hyped up to go to the gym. And it's also kind of that, you know, act of mixing up my pre-workout, shaking it up, drinking it. That helps me feel prepared and ready for what I'm about to go do. It gets you in that right mindset. Sipping on that Gorilla Mode Liquid Glycerol and the Gorilla Mode Nitric. Best supplements in the game, you guys. Totally saves you 10% off your order from Gorilla. I'm gonna put a link in the description in case you guys want to grab something. Yo, better use deodorant. I don't want to smell you in the gym. All right, we got that gym fit ready to go. Hoodie is going back on because it is cold out there and we're walking today. I just realized I somehow got this like grease stain on my hoodie. That sucks. It's gym time. Gonna sip on my pre-workout as I walk to the gym. Today I think I'm gonna do some upper body. I like doing upper body workouts on my bulk. Sometimes if I don't have a ton of time during the week and I can only get like three or four sessions in, I'll just do a full upper body workout instead of like just a chest workout or just a back workout. Helps me get a lot more volume in across all the muscles in my body. It's a good tool to use if you guys are low on time. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym.
So the name of the game for me during this workout is just intensity. I'm not trying to dilly-dally, waste time. I just want to get my sets done, keep them hard, fast, and get out. So I'm doing about two to three sets for every exercise, making sure that I'm training to failure or very close to failure. What that means is I'm going until I can't do another complete rep with good form. That's how I know I'm really pushing myself when I'm doing these workouts. There is actually scientific studies that tell us that the most muscle is built when you train the closest to failure. So those first few reps of every set are actually not going to be as productive as those last few reps. So you wanna to strive to get those those hard reps to really make those consistent gains. Basically like 80% done with this workout. I'm gonna do one, maybe two more exercises, just some isolation work to finish off, then we'll be done. Workout is done, time for food. I'm just going into the store right now. There's just a dog chilling in the entrance. How cute is that? Just gotta grab like two or three items of groceries and then I'm gonna rush home and make some more food. Going with Pepsi today. I'm cheating on Coke, but they're out of zero caffeine, so I don't know what to do. Groceries acquired. All right guys, so post-workout meal. I just got some chicken here to slam some protein. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it simple for this. I just wanna pound down 500 calories or so just to get some food in right after the workout. Be quick about the post-workout meal. So I'm gonna take this down right now. I got my little dipping sauce here for my chicken tenders. 
Let's do this. All right guys, so it's time to make a video. All right guys, now one of the tasks on my daily to-do list is making content for my short form social medias. So my accounts like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat even. Uh, I know YouTube is also a big form of my content, but I also try to make some short form videos on a daily basis too. When it comes to making short 30, 60 second videos on TikTok or Instagram, I really never have a huge plan in mind. I kind of just approach everything organically. So whether I make my own piece of content or I use another creator's piece of content, and I stitch that with my own opinions. It really just depends on the day and how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of insight into what the creative process looks like right now. So we've all been there when we've been motivated earlier on in the day and we think we're gonna do something hard later, like go to the gym, and then the time finally comes and you just can't will yourself to do it. When you tell yourself you're going to do something and you don't do it, this is showing that you have a lack of self-respect. If you tell yourself you're going to complete a goal and then you just don't do it and you get lazy and you push it off, you are proving to yourself that you do not respect your own opinions. See like right there, I went through that draft and I feel like the video could be a little bit better, so I'm gonna redo it. Two thousand years later. The reason why you tell yourself you're gonna do hard things, and then when the time comes to do that hard thing, you don't do it, the reason, and this is scary, is that you lack self-respect. If you know that you need to get something done and you set that out as a goal in your mind, the motivated, wise, thoughtful part of your brain knows that that is something you need to do. And if you just let the lazy part of your brain take over and dictate the decisions you make, you are showing a direct lack of self-respect for yourself. So let's say your boss tells you, hey, tomorrow I need you. One thing I do as it's getting later in the day for better sleep, I dim the lights. So this is a sleep supplement called Gorilla Dream. This gives you absolutely incredible quality sleep. This has magnesium in it along with ashwagandha, uh, zinc, a ton of other good stuff in there for sleep. And this is something I don't take every day, but about three to four times a week when I really need a quality night's rest, I'll go for this. Cheers. Code Lee, links in the description. All right, you guys, and just like that, we have reached the end of the day. I hope you all enjoyed this insightful, deep look into what my typical day looks like right now. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.